tell me a story of someone who came into Village Home and really got great value out of being there, took advantage of what Village Home has to offer. Wow. Well, there's been a lot. Let me think for a second. Well, a recent one from just a few weeks ago is this kiddo that was in public school for uh, until seventh grade. And the situation at the public school started to become untenable for the family. And they had thought about doing an alternative kind of program like Village Home years ago, but couldn't figure it out in their home setting. Both parents mm-hmm. work and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So he came into Village Home in the fall and uh, he loved it, but the family couldn't figure out their life and how Mm. to make it work logistically for them because a village home is not a full-time program. Right. Right. And so they put him back in a private, very wonderful, well thought out private school in the area. And he was there for the winter term, January to now, and just begged his parents please Mm. let me come back to village home. And the reason he wanted to, what he expressed was the authenticity of learning there Mm. and that the kids are authentically there to plug in and tune in with each other and with the subjects. And Mm -hmm. so that's the most recent one we have. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr. 